Hi and welcome students. In this tutorial I'll be going over Microsoft Word 2016 and I'm going to show you how to select text and move the insertion point. Now this video is going to go over a lot of basics in Microsoft Word but I'm also going to touch on some of my favorite tips and tricks as well as keyboard shortcuts. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have a Word document right here and one of the first things that I like to do whenever I'm editing a Word document is turn on the paragraph markers. The paragraph markers do not show up when you print so you don't have to worry about that but they do show you important characters such as every time you press the space bar and every time you start a new paragraph so the way that you turn those on is you go to the home tab the paragraph group and it's right here in this group that says show hide and if you click that you'll see that it adds in a lot of formatting marks here you can see when a paragraph ends each time by that symbol right there and you can see the spaces in between every word so Word is cursor based, okay? And so this blinking cursor that you see right here, that is called the insertion point in Microsoft Word. Now, wherever that point is, is where uh, your text is going to appear when you are in uh, Word. So let's say that I click right after the D in farm stand and I press the space bar. Notice it puts the marker for the space and then I can type and more and it will type just as I type it. So that's how you uh, pretty much uh, type in Microsoft Word, but there are a lot more features when it comes to how to select your text and how to move around this program. So notice that you can use the arrow keys to move left, right, up and down lines. So that helps you move a little bit quicker, but there's also some uh, mouse shortcuts and keyboard shortcuts that I wanted to go over with you first. Sticking with the theme of the keyboards, the first one is Control and Home. Okay, If you're using a, a PC, you're going to see both of these keys on your keyboard. And the Home button is usually uh, just to the left of the number pad. So you do Control Home, and that'll always move you to the very beginning of the document. So it doesn't matter if you're on page 1 or page 100. If you press Control Home, it's going to take you back to the very beginning. Um, if you want to go to the very end of your document, it's control end. The end button is usually uh, right below the home button on a PC keyboard. And so those are kind of some keyboard shortcuts to move around. So I'm going to press control home to go back up to the top. Now notice that if I were to click in between the A and the R in farm, that's where the insertion point and the blinking cursor is now displayed. If I were to start to type in some random words, that would uh, appear basically right after those. So a keyboard shortcut to undo any mistakes is control Z as in zebra. And so that would, uh, undo any mistakes. Now, one of the other tricks that you could use in Microsoft Word are what's called mouse shortcuts. So to use your mouse as a shortcut, you could double click on any word in Microsoft Word and it's going to automatically select that word. All right, And if you triple click, it's going to automatically select that paragraph. So you could easily select words and paragraphs at a time. So down here I'll select the second paragraph now. And there we go. So now you can see that that whole paragraph was selected. Notice that you do not always have to select text in Microsoft Word. Let's say I go down to this image right here and I click on the image. Notice that I do not have a blinking cursor on my Word document anymore. Rather, I have six or uh, let's see a little bit more eight handles along the sides and corners that allow me to adjust the size of that picture. So Word is cursor based unless you click on a table or a picture and then it will select the object itself. So uh, that's a little bit about a little bit about Microsoft Word and how to uh, select and move text and also how to move the insertion points to different points on your document. So hopefully you learned a few shortcuts and a little bit about how to navigate around this program. If this video helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section and I'll try to help you out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.